what is the answer? What is not the question? What can be the question? As it turns out, however, the answer is what. Everything is made of what, and what can be called a word. It can also be said to be made of letters. Letters can be taken apart to find a W and a hat. So there is a hat in every what. This hat might be the same hat, or it could appear to be a different hat with every what. What is this material? What is that material? What is this or that energy? What is or appears to be at the basis of all things? It can easily be asked, in the beginning, what was there? And the answer, of course, is yes. What was there? It used to be thought that who was there, but now we know that who is playing first base for some sort of a baseball team. Sometimes what plays second fiddle on the same team, but in more modern times, what has taken center stage? Where is everywhere? Everywhere is where what is. Why arises out of cause, and cause is a tool. Cause is what is sought after what has been cut in half, or in many pieces. Once what is differentiated, then many things occur or appear. A question may arise. Does this what have any real being? Does it exist? Does existence exist, or is existence a state of being, that things exist? There is no existence of existence. Someone else may say, what? It could be said, what is a myth, that there really is no what. What, however, answers the question. What is it? It is what. It is what it is. Pesky pronouns. They happen quite often. At times they object. They turn themselves into objects. At times they people themselves. They may turn other people and things into objects until those people or things object. They may lump them together or split them apart. Some may see all as being one one great big what. In the beginning, it's quite possible that what did not know what what was doing. What is said to ex have exploded onto the scene, exploded into the scene, exploded as the scene, and there was much hand clapping and applause at the time. What can be called the great mystery? Now, what is learning, what what is, when it is, how it is, why and where, and who. It can be asked, why is what? An answer given can be simply, what is. First there is what, then there is why. Don't hitch up the cart before the horse, and you won't have that problem. And yet, wonder occurs. To wonder why, how, what. What wonders, what knows. Does what intend for all to be? What hat will what wear today? Will what be being? What can be non-being at times beyond time and within time too? When a state of being is not, it is not. States come and go like lines on a map. What can be arbitrary? What can be natural? What could be better? The what-not-nots. What gets all tied up in a nice rainbow? What overarches and goes way beneath? What at times even goes beyond what? What is odd even still?